You must not contradict adults. You must not lie. You must not play with fire. You must not use sharp objects. You must not touch alcohol. You must not hang around dangerous places. You must not lose control. And you must never follow your own wishes. Woogie, woogie. Woogie, woogie. Woogie indeed. <laughs> and? Did it work? We'll find out in a moment. Lily, I'm sure you can tell me who's responsible for all the chaos in this institution. <laughs> the chaos, Lily. Who's responsible? Now start talking, you useless ch 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 Remain calm, Mother Superior. She'll answer. She'll answer. Do you know the answer, Lily? Who's responsible? You can tell me, can't you? <laughs> What's going on? What did she say? This case is more complicated than I thought. It's eminently important that you tell me something. Do you know a girl by the name of Edna? Why do you ask? I think I've just pinpointed the root of all this evil. It's good that I was able to install all the important behavioral blocks inside Lily with the aid of my new hypnotherapy. Hypnotherapy? Hypnosuggestion, to be precise. The light diodes that I have installed in the eyes of this stuffed rabbit help me take direct control over Lily's free will. From now on, she will behave very calmly. But here, just try it out for yourself. Try it out? That's right. She's now as obedient as a little lamb. Well... Go ahead. Lily, serve the doctor and me some tea. Bravo! Ha ha ha. Well, I'm thirsty anyway. What do you say now, Lily? Would you like to serve her some tea? Yeah, I'm just gonna tell you, I kinda like my free will. Uh -uh. Yeah, bad thing is you actually have to do it. Uh huh. <laughs> Stop dawdling. Serve the doctor and I some tea. Be patient. Lily will complete her task. My new method is infallible. But that doesn't mean I can't annoy you both greatly. What's the matter? You're supposed to make tea. I think your experiment has failed. Lily's just too dumb for hypnosis. Be patient. Lily will complete her task. My new method is infallible. Tea, Lily, tea! This dumb ch 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 Be patient. Lily will... Tea, tea, this... Be patient. Lily... Um... You know what to do. Do it. Um... You do it. I'm just gonna do everything else. What's she doing now? Is that really part of her conditioning? No worries. She's hypnotized and incapable of making any mischief. Right, okay, let's actually get moving because we would like to do something else today besides annoy these two. Psst, Lily. What? Don't be afraid, Lily. It's me, Garrett. Please, stay calm. You were hypnotized by Dr. Marcel, and now you're completely in his control. But don't worry, I can help you. But you'll have to come with me to my secret room. You can find the entrance in front of Mother Superior's office, in the dark corner next to the fireplace. But first, I need your help. I've been watching Mother Superior and the Doctor for a long time, and I'm very close to unveiling their evil deeds. All I need is a confession. Here, take this extract of Deadly Nightshade. Uh. 
um... It's a truth serum. Pour it into Mother Superior's tea. As soon as she drinks it, she'll start spilling all of her secrets. Did you understand? Uh-huh. Excellent. Lily, what are you doing? You're supposed to be making us tea, not staring at paintings. Oh, uh, don't be so harsh on her. Lily will complete her task. But I have to confess that I have also admired your gallery. I'm especially interested in this embroidery over here. It's a bit unusual, don't you think? Oh, that one. It's just an old keepsake. Hardly worth mentioning. I can't even remember hanging it there. You can't? Interesting. What is it actually an embroidery of? An eight-legged unicorn? It's only the embroidery of a dumb, irresponsible... Chuck! 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 Child! Nothing else. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm not sure in any universe parallel or whatever to this one if Deadly Nice Shake could ever become Truth Serum, but, um, okay, fine. We'll just... I'm not opposed to giving Mother Superior some Nightshade, as awful as that probably sounds. Alright, pour the tea, pour the extract into the cup, and now we are ready. Give it to her. You clumsy good-for-nothing! Do you really want to embarrass me in front of the doctor? Hmm... That is strange. The hypnosis is foolproof. Ah, it was probably just an accident. The whole ch ch child is a total accident. If I c c could I would c c c c But please, Mother Superior, do calm down. Lily will complete her task, right? Lily? Uh-huh. Well then, please bring us some more tea, okay? Be so kind. Lily didn't show it, but she was close to panicking. Serving more tea was no problem, but where would she get more truth serum from? Oh, I think we have an idea or two. Mainly considering the nightshade, because, you know, she... Serving more tea was no... But, where... but the problem is, you know, putting nightshade into the teapot... Someone's gonna notice me doing that, I would think. Or, you know, they just don't notice when you're dropping in basically grapes inside of a thing. I guess they just don't mind. Lily suspected that the Deadly Nightshade would have the same effect as Garrett's Elixir. Or at least a similar one. Now, it just had to be boiled. Boiled? What am I supposed to do with that? Oh, right, I'm supposed to go out there and... Right. Let's just hang this right over here, because this is where they said Mother Superior hangs her tea. Hello, Lily. You're not going to play with fire, are you? Uh-uh. I just wanted to be on the safe side. Lily carefully placed the kettle on the hook and made sure not to touch the fire. <laughs> Lily's special tea was ready. She called it pure truth. A blend of rooibos and deadly nightshade. I don't know what rooibos are, but I'm pretty sure I know what nightshade is, and I'm gonna look forward to serving this to Mother Superior. After all the insults, I'm going to enjoy this. Here's your tea, Mrs. Ignatz. But what's she doing now? But we don't have any cups yet. Is that really part? No worry. She's hypnotized. And... Yeah... I... Did I not give her the cup with it? Finally. It's about time. Stupid chuck! Chuck chuck! Downright hysterical. It's that embroidery. <laughs> it reminds me of my <laughs> child. <laughs> I was such a stupid <laughs> child. <laughs> I so wanted to have a unicorn for a pet. <laughs> a unicorn. Can you believe it? But what they gave me instead. 
ones. <laughs> the tarantula. Ah, then you're the one who embroidered this. Shaggy died while I tried to attach a horde to a forehead with the nail gun. I was such a stupid... I've heard everything I wanted to hear. Mother Superior's obviously gone gaga. I'd already suspected that. Now hurry, come to me in the secret room. There's a hidden door in the dark corner in front of the office, right next to the fireplace outside. Yes. Oh, damn. Of course you can't make any light. You're not allowed to play with fire. I'd completely forgotten about that. One moment, let me think. Hmm. I think I have an idea. There isn't any way to break through a block created by hypnosis. Unless you get hypnotized again. It's risky, but you could put yourself in a trance and fight the block directly in your own subconscious. But be warned, the world inside of a trance is an eerie place. It's like a parallel universe that only exists in your mind. Traversing it without the guidance of a trained hypnotist has its dangers, and the blocks created by the doctor will probably appear as powerful demons that you can only defeat in a mental duel. Did you understand all that? Uh-uh. You don't have to. Not yet. Just use the stuffed rabbit to hypnotize yourself. Once you're in a trance, look for the inner demon that's preventing you from making a fire and destroy him. Ah, oh, yes. We're going to hypnotize ourselves. I'm sure that Lily has the proper training in hypnotherapy. With its help, Lily had returned into a trance. At first glance, everything had seemed unfamiliar and strange, completely alone. She cowered inside a cold cave that was illuminated by the giant, suspicious eye of Mother Superior. So there really wasn't much difference to reality. <laughs> oh yes, these are my favorite parts of the entire game, the trance levels. The first one is very easy because you're just easing into it. The first one, however, is probably more than a bit more freaky than the rest of them. Lily would lose this staring contest. Ah, yes. Well, obviously this cord is important. Ow! The dust! My eyes burning! Who was that? But that was merely just a cover to get to our true item. It was a wooden club, like Lily had heard about in stories about the Stone Age, trolls, and baseball players. Yeah, about the same, why not? You know, I don't think I've ever heard of freaking... I can't think of a popular baseball player off the top of my head using a thing like that. Mother Superior closed her tearing eye. Lily could move unobserved for now. I don't think you can actually go into the gallery without actually doing that, so there was a reason for that. Ah, my eyes burning! This would be the demon that says, don't make fire. Um, as you can see, the imagery here, I'm not going to go into every single little bit of a snowman on a firewood. You can make the connections yourself. Lily didn't want to seem picky, but that this was hardly the right place for a snowman. Um. The fireplace is closed. Good children don't play with fire, and you're a good child, aren't you? 
said she should use the fire to make light. That seemed to be a good reason to her. But how was she ever going to convince the demon of this? Ah yes, I forgot about this. Either bone collectors were hunting big animals here, or someone had started making a prehistoric loom. A loom? Isn't a loom like a... I... I can picture it, but I can't really describe it. Lily had enough ribs. They were easy to count, but Mother Superior had forbidden it because it ruined her appetite. What? Ruined her- whose appetite? Mother Superior's or Lily's? Either way, alright, fine. Oh, I forgot about that. Crap. After dealing with the curtain, Mother Superior had apparently taken her contact lenses out. Strange. In the real world, Mother Superior wore glasses. But in the real world, Mother Superior wasn't 50 feet tall either, so it was probably fine. I like the theory. I like the logic there. But ah, oh yes. The reasoning. What was the reasoning for grabbing the contact lens? I don't really remember. Crap, what was the reason for it? I'm guessing we put the contact lens in the ribs? I'm not allowed to play with fire, remember? Lily wasn't quite sure. She wasn't actually allowed to play with fire, but maybe there was really an exception to every rule. Now, I know what you're thinking, because I thought the same thing my first time through. How did her eye all of a sudden create a beam of light hot enough to start a fire? It's trance. That It's like, that's the rule we're going with. It's a trance. Just go with it. Lily wasn't... She... Lily was a little contrite. Apparently, the snowman hadn't learned anything. Oh. Well, if you want to be like that, I say we teach you another lesson. What's happening now? Hey, stop that. No. 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 Lily had put out the fire. Just like the snowman had told her to. Hopefully, he now realized that there were quite appropriate situations where one could play with fire. That was only the first one. The next ones are a lot more difficult. But yes, now Lily can play with fire without any of the mental blocks. And there are a lot of mental blocks and a lot of trances down the line. The game is just beginning now. At least I always call this air this part of the game where the game really begins because this is where all the gameplay mechanics start coming in rolling in congratulations Lily has acquired a new skill she can now get around the ban on playing with fire all she has to do is cancel it in her new don'ts menu by clicking on it with the left mouse button keep this option in mind throughout the game Lily will learn to bypass many other restraints using this technique but keep in mind that only one ban can be revoked at a time. Okay. I was gonna say, are we done now? Okay then. Guess I'll go home now. Or, really more, you know, likely, I'm just gonna go over here now. There seemed to be some, but Lily couldn't continue. Alright. What did, I, what did they just tell me? I'm stupid. 
I don't think just touching fire is either is a good idea either, so let's get the torch. Actually, let's see what happens if you do just try and touch the fire. Lily could finally put her hand in fires again, as much as she wanted. Which still didn't mean it was a good idea. <laughs> oh, Lily. A cure, ever the curious sort. Lily could finally put her hand... Which still didn't mean it was a good idea. I'm not sure how you burned yourself using a torch, but alright, fine. With the help of the torch, Lily could finally inspect the mysterious bracket. What a surprise! It was a torch bracket, but there was still no trace of the promised secret passage. There had to be a secret passage there somewhere. I'm gonna bet it's the burning torch. It was true! A secret passage! Garrett was right once again. Boy, that, that Garrett guy is real smart. Lily, you did it! Perfect! I think you're finally ready to know the truth. Well, where should I start? Uh, about you. We don't know a thing about you. You. Maybe I should introduce myself first. My full name is Chief Deputy Garrett Gordon Gardenball. I'm an undercover investigator for the juvenile department. I took a position in the combat as a cover to observe Mother Superior. My assignment is to uncover evidence proving her educational methods violate youth protection laws. But Dr. Marcel is an even bigger fish to fry. Compared to him, Mother Superior is a saint. Lily could hardly believe what she was hearing. But now it all made sense. The secret room, the listening devices, and the strained voices she kept hearing at night. It was all coming together to form a coherent overall picture. Oh. Let me finish. As I said, Dr. Marcel is a much bigger fish. The police has been after him for a while. He's suspected of using illegal therapy methods that rob children of their childhood. And the hypnosis he subjected you to confirms this suspicion. Ah, ah, ah. Before you ask me any questions, let me quickly tell you one more thing about the hypnosis. This Harvey hypnosis is the doctor's devilish invention. He apparently uses this stuffed rabbit to force his will on you. If we want to get out of here, then you're going to have to fight the behavioral rules he's installed inside you. You can also take on the other behavior blocks, just like you did the one stopping you from playing with fire. But it means you'll have to put yourself back in a trance. The first challenge will be leaving the school grounds. Mother Superior has forbidden you from doing this. And because of the behavior block, you're incapable of being disobedient. The solution is to once again fight the block while you're in a trance. We have to tackle the problem at its source. Okay, so uh, why don't we just get your superiors to help us with this whole thing? I'm, I, I like to think I'm being understanding of this whole thing, but really, get some help, man. Call, call the police? Ha! Lily, I am the police. I can help you and get you to safety. We just have to get off the school ground somehow. I think the best way is to follow in your friend Edna's footsteps. But first, I want to answer any questions you have. So? No questions? Uh-uh. How disappointing. Oh well, okay. Let's go to the tree swing. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for today, because after this is another trance, and I wanted to save that for next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. As always, if you have any comments, if you feel like sharing, please leave them in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. And as always, if you'd like to help support the channel, you may wish to like or even subscribe for easier access to future videos, and hopefully I shall see you next time. Farewell everyone.